Hi guys, hello and welcome. Well, summer is underway and 4th of July will be here before you know it. And you know what that means, right? Fireworks and barbecue, of course. Well, this year, I know I'm not gonna be grilling out. I don't know about you, but I want to share with you three top barbecue spots you gotta check out for 4th of July. If you're interested, stay tuned. Are you new to my channel? Well, welcome. On this channel, I explore all things that Central Florida has to offer. From restaurants, to resorts, attractions, festivals, theme parks, shopping, and more. So what are you waiting for? Click subscribe and join me as I get around Central Florida. And don't forget to click that like button and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload my videos. First up is Granny's Southern Smokehouse in St. Cloud, Florida. Okay guys, so we kind of have a spread of food here. Obviously, you know, with barbecue, it's not gonna, it's gonna be a little messy. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and get started, okay? So I have, is this the Sa Sergeant Howard's? Is that what this is? The two meat Sergeant Howard's? Yes ma'am. Okay, so we have the Sergeant Howard's with the beef brisket and the chicken. We have macaroni and cheese. We have fried okra. We have greens. We have uh, baked beans and a corn casserole. So I'm about to dig in. Okay guys, make your way over to Granny's Southern Smokehouse. You gotta try their brisket, it just melts in your mouth, as well as their baked beans and their cornbread casserole. And you must get the sweet barbecue sauce, it is amazing. And don't forget to tell them Chalet sent you. Pick Floyd's Barbacoa off of Mills Road. We're sitting outside on this beautiful day. So I decided to get two different uh, plates or dinners here so you can kind of get a mix and feel the restaurant. It's a barbecue spot slash, uh, <laughs> slash Mexican slash Asian. So I have two plates. The first one, we're gonna zoom in here. Um, we have two meats, which is the pulled chicken thighs as well as the beef brisket. You have baked beans and coleslaw. They also give you tortillas. And then on plate two, if you can see the food on plate two, on plate two we have chicken, their plantains, and their street corn. So let's dig in. My favorite items from Pig Floyd's uh, has to be the pulled chicken thighs as well as the coleslaw and of course the corn. Takes a little bit of effort to get to. I don't know if you can tell where we are. If you can guess where we're going, um, yeah. So I really, really like this barbecue place. It's probably one of my favorite barbecue spots. We're getting closer to barbecue. Okay, so I just want to show you the menu here. I got the polite pig. And it's located by the line garage, so if you're getting off the line garage, it's looking right to the right. So very convenient. Okay guys, this is the shrimp and grits. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. They give you a little uh piece of cornbread as well. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that looks amazing. This is my first time having their shrimp and grits. I think this is a newer item on the menu. Guys, look at the color on this chicken. It just looks so good. This is one of my favorite. Um, that rub, uh, so much seasoning, so much flavor, delicious. Okay, so here we have the coleslaw and the baked beans as well as cornbread. So you get two sides with the chicken. So it comes with coleslaw and it comes with cornbread and you just pick another side. So we got the uh, baked beans. These are the chicken wings. I just love their chicken wings. So good. They put like a dry rub on them. They are delicious. So good. I just love these chicken wings. And then here are the waffle fries. I love their waffle fries. We also got corn. It is called ribbed corn. That looks so good as well. It'll be my first time trying the ribbed corn. Uh, so I'm excited about that. Okay guys, so these are the Brussels sprouts, the barbecue Brussels sprouts. It looks so good. 
Okay guys, it actually ended up raining at the Polite Pig, so I had to box up all the food and finish filming in the car. Um, but I just wanted to wrap up today's video. Um, I brought you to three of the best barbecue restaurants right here in Central Florida. Um, each unique in their own way, from their seasoning to their barbecue sauce to the way they grill and smoke their food. I'd like to hear from you in the comments below. Which restaurant is your favorite? Also, maybe you have another recommendation of barbecue spots that I need to check out in the Orlando area. Drop it in the comments below. I want to thank you so very much for watching today. If you liked today's video, please give me a thumbs up. Also, consider subscribing to the channel. It doesn't cost you a thing and you get to follow me along my journey. Well, that's going to do it for me today, guys. Until next time. Bye, guys.